Hi, it's Carl Kwan here from PresentationExpressions.com. So this is what to pack for a presentation. Now you may think that you can just, you know, get your presentation ready and practice it and go and just give the presentation. Well, you do have to get some other things ready for your presentation as well. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. So why is this important? Well, to be fully prepared means that you're going to be very, very confident when you arrive. You won't be you know, rattled by anything. You'll be ready for anything that can happen. You'll also look very, very professional then in that case because if it's, for example, a client presentation, a sales presentation, it could be maybe to get a job interview, something really important, you got to look professional. Then you can also be very precise. You can be like a laser-guided missile when you're giving your presentation because you'll have everything ready to go. You'll be able to get set up, you'll be able to get started, you'll be able to give that presentation professionally and precisely. I'd like to thank Joshua Davies, a friend of ours from the Lamb Institute, for suggesting this topic, actually. He actually gave me the idea for this, and so some of the things in here are actually going to be from Joshua, some recommendations from Joshua, and also from um, myself as well, of course. So, thank you to Joshua for his input into this particular tip video. Okay, so first of all, you're going to need some kind of device to give your presentation with. So, of course, it could be your laptop, your iPad, whatever it may be. I highly recommend, though, that you bring along a flash drive with your presentation on it and also upload your presentation uh, online somewhere so you can access it as well, like to Dropbox or to your email account or wherever that you can easily access it in case something happens to your laptop, to their computer, or whatever. So, back it up. Next, make sure you bring along your power adapter. If you have a computer that with a battery life that's, you know, more than five hours long, fine. Maybe it's okay, but bring along the power adapter just in case something happens. You never know. This happened to me. I forgot my power adapter, actually, and luckily enough, I was able to get through the presentation before the battery died. And it was a good way to end the presentation, actually, because it ended just when the battery died. Now, you may need some kind of an extension cord, and you also may need some kind of an adapter for your plug as well. Like, let's say you're going abroad to give the presentation, you may need to bring something to, you know, connect your power plug, connect your plug to their particular wall outlet or whatever. So, you might need that. And if they don't have an extension cord available, then make sure you bring one, especially if you're going to a client's office. You know, it looks kind of weird if you're going to ask them for an extension cord. So maybe bring one along just in case. The next thing you'll need is something to connect to the internet, so your Ethernet cable. You may not be able to use Wi-Fi in the location where you're at if you need to use the internet for your presentation. So make sure you bring the Ethernet cable and have one that's long enough, okay? Make sure it's maybe between 3 to 5 meters long just in case. Next, you want to make sure that you can produce some sound, right? If, in case you've got music or a video or something you want to play, make sure you bring a small set of speakers. And I highly recommend using USB speakers so you don't have to worry about plugging into a, a, you know, a power plug or whatever. And also, make sure that if you do have speakers that they actually work and they look kind of nice and professional looking. Don't get anything too cheap or too cute. Otherwise, it kind of kills that professional look. If you're going into a room with this, which is quite big, they'll most likely have some kind of audio system you can connect your computer to. But make sure, though, that you bring some kind of audio cable, okay? This is a recommendation from Joshua, as was uh, the speaker recommendation. But make sure you bring some kind of audio cable to connect your computer to their system or to your speakers if you're going to put them, you know, maybe a little further away or whatever. This is really important, okay? The VGA adapter. This one end of this goes into your computer. The other end of this goes into maybe the TV that they have there, the monitor they have there, the projector that they have, so that you can show your presentation on a larger screen. So really vital piece of equipment here. Joshua also recommends that you bring along a VGA cord. So it's just to connect your computer directly to their device as well, but it's an extension, okay? It might not be, theirs might not be long enough, yours might not be long enough, in the picture I just showed you before there, that was from the Apple adapter, and that one is really short, as you can see. So oftentimes you do need this kind of cord to help you out to get, you know, to reach the device you want to project your uh, presentation on. 
Joshua recommends this, a VGA male to female connector as well, this cable as well. So on one end is a female connector, the other end is a male connector, just in case, okay? This will help with uh, maybe extension, okay? You might need to extend the wire longer. This is a very good uh, piece of equipment for that. Next thing that I recommend is a presentation remote control. So this one here plugs into your USB port and then of course you hold it and control your presentation. It's much better than standing behind your computer and giving the presentation. But make sure that the batteries are fully charged or you have a spare set of batteries just in case, okay? You don't want to end up, you know, that embarrassing moment where the thing doesn't work because you ran out of batteries. All right, there you have it. In order for you to become a very effective presentation expert and to give presentations well, make sure that you are fully prepared, that you're going to be professional, and that you're going to be precise. And how do you do that? Well, make sure you bring along enough stuff with you to give a great presentation, like this guy often does. So make sure you have your laptop with you, or make sure it's on some kind of backup device. Have your power adapter just in case, and of course, any kind of extra adapters you might need to connect your power adapter or your, your, you know, your plug into their wall socket the extension cord just in case. Make sure you have an Ethernet cable because you never know if you can't connect via Wi-Fi. You'll need to be able to use the, the Ethernet, Ethernet connection within the room, if they have one even. Speakers, of course, to project the sound, okay. And an audio cable to connect your speakers or to connect your computer to their audio system if their cord isn't long enough, for example. You're going to need a vital piece of equipment, in my mind, the VJ adapter, so to connect your computer to their projection device or their monitor. A VGA cord, in case yours isn't long enough or theirs isn't long enough, have that ready to go. Just in case, right, the VGA male to female connector. Joshua says he uses this maybe once a year, but hey, <laughs> that once a year, it's worth it. And, of course, your presentation remote. Make sure you have the batteries charged or at least new batteries in it. There you go. That's all you really need to know for what to pack for a presentation. Go out there, give those presentations. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you all.